Hi, I'm Rich Collegard of Forbes, and I'm here at one of Silicon Valley's great technology companies, Visa, and I'm here with Chief Information Officer Mike Dreyer and the Global Head of Mobile Products, Bill Gatta. Uh, and you preside over the IT, Mike. Talk about that and, and the technology component of Visa. We uh, define it as 24 by 7 by forever. So it's uh, one of those, the main tenets is reliability uh, and security, and we really don't differentiate between the two because the brand is built on the trust uh, that we bring every day. And uh, we want to make sure that we continue to win that trust as we go into new uh, areas such as mobile. And uh, we want to make sure we have that as well. Everybody's being hit with uh, this uh, technology-driven change that is on the one hand creates tremendous opportunity, but on the other is an opportunity to really blow it if you don't get it right. It's a great opportunity, but I think the point you made about balancing that with you know the Visa brand and what we stand for in terms of reliability and scalability doesn't go away in the mobile channel. We work closely to Mike and with Mike and his team to do that. Mobile brings you into different kinds of markets where people you know, have stood in line all day uh, to pay in cash. Visa is present in, in just about 200 markets, but we've really driven that traditionally by you know people from developed markets traveling to those markets and allowing them to use their Visa cards when they do that. But mobile allows us to actually get into those markets and provide financial inclusion or financial services for the first time on mobile. They may never have a plastic card, but they have a mobile phone, and we can get a virtual Visa card on that device and allow them to start making electronic payments for the first time. Talk about um, how you and your teams work together. I think Visa, uh, again, has a rich history of collaboration. I think that uh, whether you call it iterative development, whether you call it agile development, whatever methodology you go to, one of the things are is we talk. I think that builds a better product or service and allows us to not have to spend money twice. And there's a lot of uh, incredible capability here on the IT side in Visa. And, and if there's one thing I've learned about that capability, it's bring them in early and bring them in often. McKesson, uh, also in this video right. series, talked about how they've changed their thinking and they now, quote, embed IT into every strategic decision that they make. I think, I think Visa uh, has been at the forefront of that for a long time. I, I think that uh, this company has a rich legacy, a rich history of making sure that the technology and the business people are working part and parcel with. And if you go back to uh, when this all started back in Fresno, uh, the technology people and the product people working hand in glove in order to make electronic transactions work. Fast forward to today, uh, to Bill's point, we're discussing right, the right architecture. Uh, if you look at some of the acquisitions that we've made over uh, the past two years, when you look at uh, Fundamo, uh, which is uh, mobile uh, software, and if you look at CyberSource and PlaySpan, so we're bringing all these new assets and, and really looking at how consumers want to interact today and incorporating that into the overall VisaNet architecture. And, and that allows, you know, we have to sit with the business folks and say, okay, what is the right path forward? You know, it's not just about uh, technology for technology's sake. It's about driving that uh, incremental transaction uh, and making sure that it gets done in the right way. With such a global footprint um, uh, and all the traveling that you have to do, and how do you decide when you have to be, do meetings in person uh, when you do meetings over, uh, over teleconferencing, telepresence, and when you do, you can do things by email. Uh, our number uh, uh, two employment location for IT employees is Singapore. So we do a lot of telepresence, and, and we find that a very effective way to, uh, to get business done. Uh, and it cuts down on the travel time and, frankly, the wear and tear on your body. It's not just the cost. It's the fact that, uh, you know, 20-plus uh, hours in an airplane is a long ride. Um, and, and you do, over time, as you build that familiarity, uh, either through face-to-face -face or through uh, the telepresence meetings, it, it becomes very effective to do it by uh, phone or to do it by email, and, and you, you just build that rapport as time goes on. And in fact, to that point, um, Mike mentioned we bought Fundamo just over a year ago. So Visa's third largest it's office is, South result, African software is in Cape Town. So that's Visa's third. Another third. hard place to get to. Indeed, <laughs> one of the farthest places in the world from, from San Francisco. And, and again, I've seen a cycle of where Visa really does invest heavily early on in making those face-to-face -face meetings work so people right. can develop those relationships. Mm -hmm. And that means that over time, you can start being more effective on the phone because right. you've got that person's context. You know, you know how to read them. You know, even if you're, you're in a phone or, or, or a video conference environment, we, we try to use you know, email as effectively as we can. For me, I'm still a little bit analog. I like to get people on the phone um, just because I, I'm more effective you know, on, on that channel than, than, than email.